Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about retired pro player stickers. So this video comes as a request from one of my previous videos where someone just wanted to know about pro player stickers and what they should do with investing in them. There's not a lot of people talking about this on YouTube, so I figured I'd go ahead and give my inputs. Obviously take my word with a grain of salt, I'm just an investment YouTuber, and you don't have to listen to me on what I think. If you have a different opinion, then go ahead and follow your gut. That's also part of investing, for sure. There's a lot of variables that could make you just have to follow your gut. But uh, sorry for the long-winded uh, part there. Basically, thank you to the suggestion and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so to start off this video, let's talk about the difference obviously between team stickers and signature stickers. So team stickers and signature stickers both have their own rarities. Uh, team stickers tend to have a hollow foil and a normal rarity, while signature stickers tend to have different types of rarities where they can actually be a regular, a foil, and a gold. So basically, you can have uh, different types of team stickers and different types of pro player signature stickers. So with that being said, there are obviously different facets to look at when you're talking about you know which rarity of the sticker is best to invest in but i will say as a general statement just to start off this video right now that the gold stickers are going to be the ones that are going to be the most profitable gold stickers are the most desirable they are the least in uh in supply which means they have also one of the highest demands because they're so rare and they are also pretty coveted they just are a very rare thing to get from a capsule and so with that being said they are obviously the tip top of investing in pro player signature stickers but we're not talking about signature stickers in general we are talking about obviously retired pro player signature stickers and so let's talk about some of the best ones to look at and uh, kind of what you more high tier investors can look forward to investing in in the future. Also, before we get onto that, I do want to mention that signature stickers are only going to really be a fruitful investment in quite a while from now. A lot of these stickers and signature stickers have not risen very much because of the pro players retiring specifically. They've only done sort of the natural hype uh, rise because a lot of people are like, well, it's a good investment because they retire and so we're going to make the price really high. It's not permanent and it's only going to really be a really fruitful investment later in the future, later down the line when they become really rare to find those kind of signature stickers. Uh, but right now, a lot of signature stickers exist just because they're pretty cheap to get and uh, they're easily accessible. So for that reason, a lot of them exist and they aren't that great of an investment at the current moment. I would say wait a little bit on this. There are other things to invest in. But uh, for the time being, I will show you a few examples of what you can probably invest in uh, for these pro player signature stickers. Okay, so obviously one in recent memory is Gob B. This is kind of, I think, one of the reasons that this discussion was brought up about retired pro player stickers. So Gob B was a huge Counter-Strike legend. He did a lot for this scene growing up, and for a lot of people, he was sort of an inspiration. He's been around for a very long time. He's added a lot to the game, and his retirement obviously comes as a pretty big loss to the scene and as the community, but his uh, signature sticker is not going to be much of a loss. It is going to be a really good investment going forward just because of how much of an impact he has on, on the scene. Uh, I know that a lot of the general players don't tend to not know who Gob B was, but trust me, a lot of the more uh, invested players that are actually going to be buying signature stickers probably do know who Gob B is and do know how much of an impact he had on the scene. So if you do want to get a, a fairly cheap one, a fairly cheap option right here, I would say go for the Gob B signature stickers that have come out in the past, and I think that is one of the best ones and one of the most premier ones overall. I think down the line, these are going to be a highly coveted item just because his retirement was one of the biggest news stories in recent memory of Counter-Strike, and uh, with that being said, it definitely will be a pretty big, important moment in Counter-Strike history. So down the line, once these signature stickers become more rare, this is definitely one that can rise quite a bit. So maybe you want to get in now, maybe you want to wait a little bit, I would say it's up to you. Uh, it depends on how long you want to wait on this investment. But uh, for the time being, pretty good investment and something to look forward to is got B. The next big one I want to talk about is Cloud9's Nothing. So Nothing was a pretty important player in his time. He brought a lot of the American scene into Counter-Strike Global Offensive despite it being a pretty much of a, a European dominated uh, esports scene. But CNI Nothing did a lot for the scene as well. He was a very, very important player and obviously he, he has retired by now. He still does play Counter-Strike and he does play in sort of a lower level league and he does make videos for people as well. He does have a YouTube channel. So that is all obviously great for him and if you want to go support him, go do that as well. But uh, if you don't already know, he did obviously retire and he was one of the most important players of our generation and one of the most recognizable players of this generation as well of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So if he doesn't rejoin the scene anytime soon, his signature sticker can definitely skyrocket in value and there are a lot of options for that as well depending on how many majors he attended obviously. So I would say, that being said, uh, C9 Snuffing is a very good option as well for a signature sticker to invest in. And again, down the line, it could rise quite a bit. Just got to keep an eye out for it and definitely look at it down the line. 
And uh, just to fully explain what I previously put up on screen, obviously nothing isn't fully retired. He is sort of semi-retired, I would say, but uh, that is kind of all the same when it comes to investing. There's not really going to be a time in the future that I could see nothing really making a giant impact on the scene. It is sort of shifted away from the playstyle that a lot of the older players did play in. So for nothing to kind of assimilate into that is a very large hurdle to get over, but, you know, maybe he could do it, who knows. Uh, that is kind of why I'm saying to wait on these signature stickers and see what happens a little bit further down the line. And uh, then make your decision if you want to invest in these stickers or not. So yeah, thanks for listening to that part. Obviously, yeah, technically he's not actually retired, but uh, he sort of is. And it, you know, he might as well be retired. So I know this is sort of a short video. I did want to make it just a short little one to kind of just spotlight two little stickers that I think could be a potential option for you. Keep in mind uh, that this is sort of important to point out that uh, multiple stickers actually exist for both of these players. So it's not just the one specific one. There are older versions of the stickers, older variants from previous majors. So there are quite a lot of options that you have to look towards. I would say in terms of nothing, sort of try to look towards his more recent stickers from like Katowice 2019 and some of the more recent ones there. Definitely look for the Cloud9 ones. I know the Katowice 2019 one isn't a Cloud9 one, but it is one in recent memory that could rise just because of the hype around him, uh, potentially retiring, which I, I guess I shouldn't really call that hype, but uh, you know, it is sort of a good thing to send him off and make us a little bit of money in the process then, right? But um, so with that being said, look for Cloud9 nothing stickers for sure. And uh, look for the ones where it was a lot more of his time on Cloud9 just because that was where he had most of his impact. And uh, for the God B stickers, he had a lot of his impact on Mouse Sports and Big. So either of those stickers are pretty good uh, to look towards in terms of an investment. And yeah, I would say just wait a little bit on these. I would say maybe a couple months would be good, especially for the God B one. The nothing one you might have to wait on a little bit longer. But I would say a couple months for this investment. And uh, that is about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to spotlight these two, make you a quick little video on these retired pro player stickers just because it was being recorded requested. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And I thank you all for all the support I've been getting recently. We're about to hit 300 subscribers pretty soon here, and that'll be a really great milestone. And then we'll probably try to get to a 1,000 or something like that. I don't know. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Also, make sure to check out the Twitter and Discord. Links in the description. All right, so seriously, peace.